re-watching the Lord of the Rings because today we're going to visit Hobbiton. We're going to Hobbiton! Yay! And it started raining so we shall have a blessed visit to Hobbiton. We're so lucky! I believe that we park here somewhere in the car park and then there will be a bus picking us up from here and oh, yeah I was not wrong look at all those buses the moves. and look at this it stopped raining and now it's a little bit of sun unbelievable the weather here this is New Zealand they have four seasons in a day in a couple of minutes really yeah yeah, just find a spot. We're gonna find a spot to park and get our physical tickets. We have to check in. And we booked it for 2 30 in the afternoon because the morning slots were already full. And today is a big day, it's Wednesday, so imagine the weekends. I'm trying to find a spot. Oh, here there is one. Let's go. Yoo-hoo! Perfect! There we go. Okay, let's get our tickets. The Hobbit, the Hobbit, the Hobbit, the Hobbit. The Hobbit. And the sun is out. Welcome everyone. Thank you. Just in case an umbrella. Yeah, let's pick one. Just in case. Go we'll just We'll share one. If needed. We are here. We are finally here. <laughs> so you've only seen uh, four Hobbit holes up close. There are another 40 out there to show you. And no two are the same either. So um, you are looking at the largest exterior movie set probably ever made in the world, certainly in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, and I have to say they don't make film sets like this anymore. So this is a guided tour. It's very informative because the guy knows a lot about the movies and about the set. He tells you everything you need to know. And one recommendation, just watch the movies like a week or so before you come so everything is fresh in your mind. And yeah, it's been incredible so far. We're not going to share a lot of information because we would probably then spoil the, the visit. So. <laughs> 
yeah, just gonna show a couple of things, but in terms of information, we won't share that much because that's the job of the guy that's guiding us. Now we're going to go inside one of the Hobbit homes. I think it's the only one that we allowed in. But he told us to manage our expectations, so I'm not sure what to expect now. Yep, not much to see here. So tiny, this one. So cute. Picture time. I think Christiana found her favorite Hobbit hole. This is your favorite one so far? I think so, because like the little garden at the front is so cute and all the work, they have full-time people working here on every little single detail. There's more than 40 Hobbit homes here, but the most famous one will be that green door. Yeah, the one up there. Up there. Bilbo's house. This is where they filmed the party scene. Bilbo's birthday, 111th birthday. Very old man. Oh, green dragon, yes please. That's one of the things I'm most looking forward to, is to have a pint. We're going on an adventure. We're having a beer, aren't we? Um, what can I get you? What do you recommend? The dark beer. No, dark beer. Uh, is it is it kind of like an ale? Uh, the amber ale is a bit lighter. Mm. The dark is like a heavy meal. Let's do it. Oh, right. Dark beer. Cheers. Hey. Are they brewed here? Uh, the Good George Brewery in Hamilton. Yeah, in Hamilton. So uh, we own the recipes. Oh, uh, right. sorry. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Cheerio. I went for the dark bee. How is it? <laughs> Different? Mm -hmm. Not some as me. You went for a cider? Yeah, apple cider. Let's find a place. Fireplace. Alrighty, that's the end of the tour. I remember back in 2001, my parents bought the cassette at the time, Lord of the Rings, long time ago. So being here was nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, reminding yourself of old times when you were a kid, when the films first came out. Yeah, it was very fun. The guy is very knowledgeable. Um, has a lot of um, insights into how the films were actually made in that set. Um, it gives us a lot of information throughout, uh, a lot of time to take our pictures and explore a little bit. I was not expecting the place to be so massive, but it's 12 acres, so it's no joke. There was a lot of work put into that movie set. It's a very nice day out for all ages. Um, it's not hard at all, you don't have to hike or trek or anything, you just walk around uh, the place to see the Hobbit Halls. Um, it was yeah. a good day. Yeah, it was. Even even with a little bit of the rain at the end, it was still very fun. And then at the end we went to... Um, the Green the, Dragon. The Green Dragon, the pub. the pub. And we had a complimentary drink, we had three to choose from or four, I'm not four. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was three alcoholic beverages that we had, we could choose from and one non-alcoholic. Yeah, it's already included in your tickets. Great place. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah, I find the tickets uh, to be a little bit expensive, but once you go in there and you see all the work that's actually been put into it and all the people working there and everything, you realize that's 
the reason why the price is a little bit expensive is because there's so much work behind everything. And all the attention to details, everything is done to the millimeter. <laughs> Alright, this will be the end of the video. A lot more videos coming up from New Zealand. Yes. So don't forget to subscribe. We shall see you in the next one. Peace.